The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. On the way to the ring, from Boise, Idaho, Tori Wilson. And the opponent, from Death Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker! Ladies and gentlemen, he's Taz and I'm Michael Cole here at ringside, welcoming you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, I got top billing tonight. I'll pay you later. Well, what can I say? These Minneapolis fans have got me in such a great mood. I'm feeling especially generous tonight. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. Man, I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, Taz? These are some of the greatest superstars in the world. Oh my god, he's using that ladder as a weapon! Ha! Now that's the way you do it. Let your opponent know who the boss is. Or you can just keep posturing. What a shot from that ladder. Wow, great reversal. I don't think that ladder was ever meant to be used like this, Taz. I think they're slowing their pace down a little bit, Cole. And that's a good way to refocus your energy. Uh-oh! You know what's coming next, Cole! Tombstone Pile Driver! How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? And here's the cover! Good God! That table makes for a heck of a weapon! This match is so good, it's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Paul. Well, thanks a lot, Taz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast partner, either. You know what you should do, girl pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be the king and queen on... Look at this, Cole! Look at this! Oh, my God! There's a reason that's called a finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. These superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and now the health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. Look at this! Could it be? You're damn right it is, Cole. And that's a heck of a finisher right there. You're not going to see action like this anywhere. That was a textbook reversal. Victory means absolutely everything to these competitors tonight. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You got any others? Like, uh, I don't know. Oh my god. That was a heck of an impact on that ladder. Seeing these athletes compete here tonight. 
I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time you throw these kind of combustible elements into a match, you're guaranteed to get a hell of a show. And that's exactly what we're seeing here tonight. Will we see a finishing move right here? Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce table. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight Champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstars. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. And there's the counter, Cole. It's crazy to think we actually get paid to do a job like this. There's thousands of people out there who would do this for free. Really? Maybe I should... Whoa! What an impact! The announce table just flew apart! It sure did, partner. And that gives you some idea of the power behind that move. You look at any other sport in the world, and you won't find a single athlete that can compare with a WWE superstar. And there's a reason for that, Taz. There are no off-seasons here in the WWE. If you're a superstar, you're performing every week of the year. And we're not talking about just swinging a bat or kicking a ball, neither. WWE is the most physical competition you can be part of, hands down. Oh, man! There's one thing I learned from ECW back in the day, it's that tables are always bad news, period. I hope this isn't the last time we see these superstars face off. You're not gonna hear me say this much. This guy's doing some serious damage with that table, and it's not even set up yet. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. But a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything for your career. I don't know who's in worse shape, the table or the superstar. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. Man, I don't envy that ref. You know, the last place I'd want to be is between these superstars. You can say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be just as intense as putting him through a table. And whether or not you have that kind of patience often means the difference between winning and losing a match. Could be a finishing move right here. What a counter that was. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. These superstars have got a legitimate beef with each other. They do indeed. There's a lot of bad blood here for sure. 
And if this keeps up much longer, that bad boss is gonna wind up all over the place. Now, oh, would you look at this? Talk about arrogant. It's sickening. Actually, I think it's great. That's not arrogance, that's confidence. And that's what wins matches. What a reversal! I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure they have it, Cole. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can forget about it. And that's something I don't think people realize. The mental conditioning of the WWE superstars is just as impressive as the physical conditioning. What a jerk. How about a little less posing and a little more action? Pump the brakes, girl pants. There's nothing wrong with getting inside. That 30 pounds of ladder versus a human body. And guess which one wins? This one's gonna keep on going until someone can't go anymore. And considering the conditioning of these athletes, that could be quite a while from now. This could be a finishing move right here. These superstars are on fire tonight. They sure are, and I don't think they're going to be put out anytime soon. I think we know which way this one's gonna go, Cole. Actually, Taz, from my perspective, I think it could go either way. And what perspective would that be exactly? The perspective of somebody who has a neck that resembles a stack of dimes? The conditions are right for a finishing move! These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is gonna have their hand. Look at this, Tess! This could be it! Good night, Irene. Nobody sticks around long after taking a finisher like that. There's the cover. Whoa! One, I think these two, fans have got a little something three. they want to share with us. That was a heck of a match, Cole. I won't mind seeing them mix it. It looks like there just wasn't enough left in the tank to kick out of the pen. That's a tough loss for Here's sure. Here's your winner. If you don't have what it takes, then you the don't have what it takes. I don't know if it's a matter of not having what it takes, Taz. Sometimes it's just not your night.